You go, are you enjoying your first trip to Ikea? Yeah. Yeah. So we've done well. So we've made it to Ikea. Reese has forgotten the family card, so he's gone in to go and sort of like reprint one. We always forget the Ikea family card. It is what it is. So I am just in the car with Hugo. He's having a long nap today because we don't have the time for this. So he's decided today is the day to take a long nap. So I told Reese, go in, get the family card sorted, get as much done as you possibly can, and we will come and find you when available. It is so busy here, by the way, guys. Like, so busy. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try and vlog what I can. But with the anxiety of vlogging in public and the fact that there are going to be children running about and the fact that it's probably going to be noisy and loud and the fact that... Okay, Hugo's waking up. This is a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to try my best, but who knows? Hugo, are you enjoying your first trip to Ikea? Yes. Yes. I <laughs> do. Um, we've got a lot of stuff so far. It's all looking very white. Oh, is this for the sink? Oh. To keep your utensils in? Are you going to let go of it anytime soon? Yeah, we've got quite a few bits to be fair. I mean, they're all buried under there. Probably have to do a haul when we get home, won't we, Race? Yep. Love a haul, babes, didn't you? We love a haul. Yeah. Oh, oh right. no. Come on, then. No. Off we go. Should we get you some other bits? Hugo's so static at the moment, and we think it's the trolley. Oh, my God. What it's is not ideal. Trolley? Yeah, I told you it doesn't work. No wonder it was just left outside. Did you enjoy your first trip to Ikea, mate? We loved it. Did you want to yeah. You wanted to play? No. <laughs> so we've done well. We've got quite a bit, I won't lie. I'm gonna go through the bag. Firstly, we've got two of these bags. Two of them. Inspiration from HA Designs because she posted them and I thought they're a really cute version of like the standard Ikea bag. We've got a little step thing for Hugo for when we start potty training and when we want him to help in the kitchen and all that sort of stuff because we would love one of those little wooden ones that like little wooden helpers for the kitchen. But with finances right now, we're sticking with a six pound little plastic box. We've got two extension cords because who doesn't need two extension cords? We've got an electronic scales. We've got something for our kitchen roll just like a kitchen roll holder. We've got Hugo playing in the background, so if you can hear heavy breathing, that's him, um, and not Reese after going for a run, because he doesn't run. And then we've got this little flower sieve. Reese thought it was really cool. I um, don't see the point right now. Oh my God, it's so good. You don't have to like knock a sieve on the side. So basically, Reese is saving his wrist, um, which is what he's been doing for the past eight years of our relationship. So we also got these little plastic boxes. We've got a bigger one, obviously. We've got a medium sized one. And then actually this one's the same size as the medium sized one pretty much, but it's just not got the handles on the side. Um, Reese said this would be perfect for putting cheese in in the fridge. That's the reason we bought it. One, and I just feel like it's actually quite handy because you get like all different types of cheeses and stop cluttering the fridge. So it's basically a box for our fridge cheese. We got a really nice little throw, like a crochet kind of throw. I thought it was pulled then, but it's not. Um, so we got this. I can't even remember how much this was. Probably like six pound. Uh, but we thought it'd be cute on the sofa just to snuggle into. We got some napkins because when don't you entertain and need a napkin? So we got a little lint roller and four refills, obviously to... Like that. So I think you guys already saw we got one of these, just goes in your sink, holds all your utensils, like your scourer and all that sort of stuff. This seemed to be displayed underneath it and I'm guessing that's so it doesn't like go all rusty and stuff from the water. Oh, uh, so you can put it on your work Stop top. Stop wet and damaging the stone or the wood. Oh, I see. Apparently it's to put it on your work top. But it doesn't fit. Really weird. We got three different sized candles just because you can never have too many candles. Reese said they just look nice displayed on their own. So we're gonna go with that. We've got some like Batteries. cutters. Are they little cutters? Yeah. Yeah, little cutters. So we've got those. Um, I'm guessing as well you can put them in the frying pan, right? And then it will like perfectly measure out a know, shape. Some people do that kind of thing, don't they? I've got one that's like a love heart shape. It doesn't work very well, so it probably doesn't work. We've also got this little garlic clove crusher thing. Um, I just called it a cutter and Reese told me off, so apparently it's a crusher. We've got little measuring spoons. We've got a spatula. We've got a egg wash brusher thing. Baster. Baster? Is it baster? No, it's not. What is it called? I don't think it's a baster. Basting brush. What is it called? I don't know, but you do like egg wash with it. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I think it's, an egg, it's like a... That's literally what I just called it, Reese. You've got me, didn't I did. I said we've got like a little egg washer. 
And you went baster. 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 Because you've got your retainer in. <laughs> We've got a grater, like a multiple different style grater. It says here how many different styles there are. That would really be used for your parmesan. Like all, parmesan. all for the cheeses. All for the cheeses. Oh, all for the cheeses. All for the cheeses. To go with Reese's cheese box. We've got one of these. I hate these. You've always got to have them. Why? I'm right. Yeah, but I'm not going to offer this type of coffee. I'm going to use the little Lavazza coffee grounds that you get just I off the shelf, know, darling. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. My grandma taught me if you make something badly once, people never ask again. Don't ask for a tea or coffee in my house because you won't get a mug. We got like just some plastic chopping boards. My mum's literally had these for years and they just, they work. If, you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although hers have actually broken. We just had them years. And then we just got some last bits. We got these, they're like little tumbler glasses, like ridged, corrugated, corrugated tumbler glasses. They're really cute, pack of six for six pound, pound a glass, so we've got 12. And then we've just got one like ceramic, ceramic? Ceramic baking tray. Perfect. Are you joining in? They call it a dish rather than a tray. Oh my God, can Reese go back to work? I hate him. I do. I do too. Good boy. All right, okay, apparently this is called a dish, not a tray. People knew what I was talking about. So basically that's pretty much what we got from Ikea this week. Go and get my hose. Reese would like me to show you a hose that does not come from Ikea and should not be included in the Ikea haul. So we've got this sprinkler from Titan. Stunning, love it, from Screwfix. Did you buy in Screwfix? Yeah. And then we also got this. It's a hose. It comes it's, with all the attachments. It's grey. It comes with all the attachments. How excited am I? Obviously, we've got other stuff that we already own. This was just to add to the collection of stuff that we had or replacing old, sort of like for new stuff. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's only a mini haul, but it was a haul nonetheless. And we had a lovely day in Ikea. I think Hugo loved his first trip ever to Ikea. We gave him some food. We had the Swedish meatballs. I'm probably gonna end the vlog there to be honest because Reese is doing my absolute Sweden. So, so yeah, we're gonna end it there. Come back next week to see if we've got a divorce. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Moving in. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I'm joking. No one's, no one's moved in with you before. No one's experienced the wrath of you when you're stressed and you're moving heavy things. Oh my God. So stay tuned for next week. No, not even next week. It's going to be the week after. Next week's vlog's going to be the lead up. And then the week after that is going to be, we are moving, moving into in. our house. Like moving in vlog. Like moving in vlog. Get in a truck, move in. It's going to be the first time I've ever moved out of my parents' yeah. house, ever. Um, You'll see what's coming on the next couple of vlogs because I'm sure it's going to be a wild ride. Um, and you'll see the real me. So yeah, thank you for tuning in for another week. And like, comment, do the most. And we will see you all next week. Bye.